Right, Katie, so it was a fantastic homework off you last week where you were well, well into the grade C's. Uh, up until then, you've been comfortably a grade D. So this is the first test you've done since that really high mark. So let's see how much improvement there is this time. 65, 41, 210 is good. Now you've left that out. There's no harm in having a guess. Um, and you may have guessed it correctly. 250 litres, well, they sell petrol in litres, so, uh, you know, normally you fill your car, it takes about 30 litres, 40 litres, so 250 litres is way too big for a cup of coffee. That's a unit of area, so it's not that one. So you've got a choice of two for capacity of a teacup. A cubic millimetre would be that sketch there is um, a cubic five millimeter so a cubic millimeter is really small it's about a grain of sand or no that would be wrong maybe um, a, a grain of sugar so um, you know you would get more than 250 of those in a cup in a teacup so by elimination it's going to be that one so you got six there three there 64 is acceptable so that's good 11 for the first page. Those are correct. Now, rotational symmetry is doesn't come up that often, but what rotational symmetry is, is how many times that shape can be turned and look exactly the same as it does there. And with that shape, you can turn it four times in that complete turn, and it would look identical. So that would have a rotational symmetry of order four, whereas this one, only looks identical if you turn it upside down. So there are only two positions that that looks the same. Cylinder code, uh, cone are correct. These two are wrong. Cord cuts, think cord cuts, that will cut the circle. Tangent touches. So tangent is touching, a cord cuts. Diameter goes all the way across. So that's a diameter. What that is, is called the radius. Now, there's no understanding there. That's just something you've got to learn and think of a way of remembering it. So that one, the way I would remember it, cord cuts, tangent touches. Fourth page. That's good. You can show off a bit further by putting a little box on it so that they know that you understand what's happening. With this one, each of those layers has got four cubes. You can't see the one underneath that cube, but it says there there are no hidden gaps. So there are four in each layer. If you move that one into that gap, you would have three layers, each with four in. So um, the volume of the shape would be 12 cubes, and they're centimeter cubed, so they're looking for CM3 there. Impossible, unlikely. This one is even, okay? The number of odd numbers is exactly the same on a fair dice as the number of even numbers. So it's an even chance is what they're looking for there. So four marks on that page. So there's things there that you've got wrong that really you should be able to get right. That's good. And that's good. That's a good page, nine marks. She has enough if she sends it second class, is correct. Three pound 11. Good, can't fault that, 11 marks. All right, what they want there is not what the next numbers are, they want what the rules are. So with this one, it's being divided by four each time. And with this one, what the rule is, is that it's being multiplied, the previous one is being multiplied by three each time. Three times three is nine and so on. With this one, look at what's happening. It's going down one, down three, down five, down seven so the next one will be going down nine so nine take away nine is zero 
and then the next one will be going down 11 0 take away 11 is minus 11 uh, we will practice these that's not right uh, what you've got there is 3a and 6a is 9a take away 1a is 8a got that one right though and that correct as well so six marks on that page and again those are things that we will practice and hopefully uh, after Easter you'll be able to do those no problem at all this is good this is something we practice in class so it's important that you remember how to do it and that is excellent eight marks on that page this is something we've yet to practice but we will points are good that is good positive is correct now you need to plot the mean point so the mean point is 32 28 which is there yours goes through it you should show it and usually you do that by putting a little circle around it but it's a good line so you'll get the two marks for that and you use the line 25 is 21 so that's good as well So 36 divided by 4 is 9. 36 divided by 3 is 12. No, so your method is wrong there. You're kind of doing the right thing. What they're saying is that you've got this ratio. Now, if the wider side is 36, what is the narrower side? So basically, you've got to see how many times bigger this one has been made. So 36 divided by 4 is 9. So it's been made 9 times bigger, which means that side has to be made 9 times bigger as well. So you do 3 times 9, 27. So your method is not right for that. This is Pythagoras. We haven't practiced it yet. Well, I'm sure you would have practiced it in the higher tier before Christmas six marks per page that's good wow and that is excellent uh you're the only person to get this right that's really good seven marks on that page and then here that one's right that one's right and with this one what you have to do is to evaluate the 40th term that means n is 40 so you've got to do three lots of 40 squared, take away 25 with my calculator. So on your calculator, three times 40 squared, take away 25 equals 4775. And again, if you look there, I will type that onto the calculator exactly as I've written it. And then finally, 2.5 is too big. 2.3 is too small. Now, you haven't got it. You've gone to one decimal place without getting them consecutive. Okay, there's another one decimal place number between 2.3 and 2.5. So you need to do 2.4 next before you go halfway between. So you are only going to get one mark for that because you haven't got it down to consecutive uh, numbers yet. Uh, so four for the last page. Let's see what that comes to then, 11, 15, 19, 28, 39, 45, 53, 55, 61, 68, 72. Magnificent. Okay, you've thrown away some very easy marks in the first half of the paper. So it's important that you go back and sort those out but your strength in the second half of the paper was such that that didn't really matter. So that's really strong improvement. Well done.